Hi, I'm Casey Birmingham with Foundations Decor and Fancy Pants Designs, and we're so excited for this opportunity that Stamp and Scrapbook Expo has given us to visit with all of you and show you some of the adventures of altered art projects, and in our case, an actual woodcrafting product, and showing you how easy it can be to woodcraft and, and to build your own style doing so. Uh, we're going to go over that today, but first a little bit about Foundations Decor and Fancy Pants Designs. Foundations Decor, we're about to celebrate our fourth birthday and we're very excited about that. And that's thanks to wonderful customers like you that have uh, supported us through these first four years. Uh, we couldn't be more grateful to you. Um, in 2019, we also acquired Fancy Pants Designs, which many of you know as a paper craft brand uh, that uh, gives great products and has been around for 15 years now and, and always been a great supporter of the scrapbooking and paper arts. So uh, we're grateful to have them on board as well. So why is it that some people don't woodcraft? Some of the excuses we hear is too costly, too time consuming, um, and frankly it's messy, right? Everybody thinks it's messy. You got to get out the saws and cut your wood. We take all of that out of Foundations Decor. We provide you with a foundation, which I'll show you in a second, um, and that saves on time cost, space at home for storage and things like that. Um, we've taken a lot of the guesswork out of it. In fact, all of our product is even sanded, pre-sanded and cleaned before it's delivered to you. So there's no messes or uh, sawdust all over your lap. You don't have to get out the saw or anything else like that. You just get to do the fun parts, which is craft and uh, make things to fit your own style. So I, I mentioned um, we give you a foundation, and let me show you what I mean by that. In the case of our very popular shadow boxes, which that's what I'm holding now, and a project that I'm going to show you how to do in just a few moments. This is our shadow box kits. We have tons of shadow box kits to choose from. What's unique about them is they're interchangeable, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every month by buying a new shadow box and having to find a place to store it. Let's say you've done a Christmas shadow box kit. Well, now I need another one. No, in this case, birthday's over. It's almost Christmas. You just switch out the Christmas kit into there. Magnets are provided and they just change right out quickly and easily each little slot. Saving tons of time, tons of cost, and a tons of soap storage space. Um, everything is also laser cut, so you're gonna get a product that's true to the picture every single time. And instead of just sitting here talking about how cool we are and how cool I think we are, why don't we go ahead and show you, this is the actual project we're gonna show you today by uh, uh, showing you how to do one of these squares. But let me show you what you get. Using um, the link, foundations decor forward slash expo 2020. That's foundations decor forward slash expo 2020 is the link you need to do to get this kit provided. And I'm gonna show you everything in that kit. First of all, we're gonna give you that base. Yep, you're gonna get that base in this kit, the white shadow box kit worth $19.99. But that's not the only thing you're gonna get. Obviously, you're gonna get the birthday kit. Now the birthday kit has the magnets already in it, just a 3M magnet, it'll come with it. You don't need to go find magnets or anything like that. Plus it'll have all the blank slots, all the embellishment pieces to complete that birthday kit I just showed you. On top of that, you're going to get a full 24 page double sided shrunken design 6x8 cake smash paper pad. What's nice about the paper pads you're doing on the uh, shadow box kits is those shrunken images are just perfect for these small icons and, uh, and really look great and you'll see that also in a second. Plus you'll get the title paper card, you'll get all these cool buttons, I don't know if you can see them but we're going to send you a bunch of buttons with the kit um, and Steve was nice enough. I said, you know what my favorite thing about doing the woodcrafts is, Steve, is when I get to file off those paper edges. So he said, you know what, let's throw one of our small paper files, also found at foundationsdecor.com, into the kit, and also one of our polyfoam brushes, so that um, these are great for if you want to paint something, or if you like to use Mod Podge, you can do that. Now, let's actually get into how easy paper crafting can be, so follow me up to the table. Okay. Let's get to work on our kit. For the sake of brevity, there, we have eliminated a few things, um, just the basics of crafting. Um, but I will also uh, mention that we are only going to show you one of the squares, again, for sake of time. Um, but we do wanna show you how easy it can be. 
And the very first thing you always want to look over when doing a woodcraft is our basic woodcrafting guide, which we'll provide a link to. It just tells you some of the, the basics. It's not an instruction sheet, but uh, things to look out for and, and what you want to remember. There will be instructions provided digitally, uh, color photos and full uh, length instructions to show you this entire kit step by step, which Jody Sanford was kind enough to provide for us. So let's get started. If you've read your woodcrafting guide, you'll notice you want to put some X's on the front side of your wood. If you can see me, what I'm gonna do, and the reason we use a pencil is we, if we paint something, we don't want that to show through, right? So just a light X, so you always know what the front side is. On the back side of your paper is where you'll wanna put X's. We know we're gonna be using this paper, as you could see from the finished project. We want this side, so make sure you X the back side of that. And what those are gonna do is marry together X's, right? On the front and the back of the paper. So I've made my X's. Now we just start pulling the kit apart. You want to twist that they come uh, adhered together so you don't have any issues with them damaging or, or flopping around in the packaging um, when they ship. But you're, want, you're going to want to twist because if you pull on the end of that, it's, it, it's MDF wood. It is sturdy, but it is liable to break if you just yank at it. So again, just twist those off and you see the little pop dots. The way we get rid of those is pretty simple. I just grab one of my trusty paper files I got it right there on the, the cupcake edge, you can see, and I just pull that right off. If you're really particular, just smooth it out just like that. It's real wood. It's MDF uh, wood, so it, it sands real well. It takes well to paint, ink. You're going to love it. So we've done that, and now we're going to trace our cupcake. Again, I've put an X. I know it's hard to see. I've put an X. and a So uh, now that we've made our X's, I already did it on this paper. Um, we're going to go ahead and trace what we need. You'll notice in this kit, and, and the instructions aren't as very clear about this because some people want that paper to go around the whole thing, but you notice you don't need the whole section. You just need the bottom of the cupcake because then the layering comes into effect and goes over the top, and we're going to be painting that white in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace the bottom of this cupcake. Again, check your orientation. You always want to check your orientation. That'll be a, a stripe cupcake this way or if we want it to look just like the model we need to flip our cupcake to that side so I'm gonna go just like this knowing that I don't need the full thing I'll trace that and I might be a little too low so I'll come up here and then we'll cut it in a second but one thing I suggest before cutting is painting because what happens um, while your paint dries, then you can cut out and start sticking things together. So what I'm gonna do real quick, and I've already got my paint ready, my brush, which will come in that kit. Um, just go to that link, foundations decor forward slash expo 2020 to take advantage of that kit for $24.99, getting all that stuff. It's $50 value for $24.99. And you know what? I might even do a, an awesome deal for you guys because uh, many of you are like, yeah, I love that birthday, but I really want the Christmas kit. Or Halloween's coming up, I'd love to get my hands on Halloween. Right now, we're also gonna do a code on our website, foundationsdecor.com, where we're going to offer every one of our shadow box kits for $9.99. They're $14.99 usually, but we're gonna do $9.99 for everybody that views this video. And keep in mind, this link, that link, foundations to core forward slash expo 2020, is for you guys only. No one else can get that deal. No one else can get this kit. You're the only ones. So I've gone ahead and uh, painted that. But what I'm going to do is take a quick break, again for brevity, just to um, cut out. Um, I, I don't think anybody needs to watch me cut paper out, right? So we'll go ahead and take a quick break and cut these out and then show you how to adhere everything together. And you'll see how quickly it comes together in minutes. So we've gone ahead, cut out our paper, painted the two pieces that are required, and you'll see that in the instructions. And now we just need to start uh, putting everything together to complete the centerpiece of our birthday shadow box kit. Um, check your supplies for some twine. Uh, when we design, we like to add little accents. Um, so if you have some white baker's twine or anything like that, you, you're welcome to use that anywhere in the kit you'd like. The buttons will be provided uh, as extra pieces in this kit though. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build it from the ground up first. We go with uh, our, our, our black uh, back blank piece. Man, that's a tongue twister. 
and we're gonna just adhere that. People ask us all the time, what's the best glue for wood crafting? I don't know that there's necessarily a best one. A lot of people love to use Mod Podge. People also love to use, uh, we, we like this Tombow brand. They, they seem to do pretty well for us um, on, in the glue world. Oops, let me go ahead and just use this edge. And be a little bit liberal, but not too liberal with the, the adhesive, whichever you choose to use might depend on how much. One way to easily smooth this out to make sure you don't get wrinkles with the paper, even though we're using a good uh, high quality cardstock, sometimes it can still bubble. So if you just wanna take your brush, smooth that down so that there's no wrinkles or bubbles in the paper, that's one thing to watch for that you won't see in the instructions. Again, I'm just showing you how easy it can be to paper craft. Throw that off to the side. Now again, orientation, this is actually a square piece, so it's easy to check and throw it on there. And while that one dries, we'll go through and do the other pieces as well. But there's something real cool I wanna show you. My favorite thing about this whole project is when I get to sand it. Cause right now you can't tell on camera because you're not up close to it, but it's got some rough edges, right? You've just hand cut that with scissors and you'll notice it sticks off just a little bit. So what's cool about that is once that dries, I suggest letting it dry. I'm gonna uh, break my own rules just cause uh, again, we don't wanna move this video along. You'll, you'll take your paper file that's in your kit. Remember, Foundations Decor, X, forward slash Expo 2020 to get this all for $24.99. And then you just go like this, always pulling away from the wood and you'll notice sawdust is gonna start forming, or not sawdust, but paper dust. Cause all we're doing is we're cutting that edge clean. Isn't that great? And that's why I said, you don't have to be very particular on your tracing. In fact, you'll even wanna cut a little bit wide when you cut, because then you can just cut it off just like that with your file. And I won't go around this whole thing, but you can see how a nice edge develops. Then from there, if you get real, like if you've got a certain style you like, you can ink edges or do that. You're gonna to wanna to do that before you put anything else on. But that's just a, a quick and easy way to clean up that edge, just like that, always pulling away basically the paper towards the wood, okay? So you don't yank it off of there. And I'll go ahead and start putting the rest of these together and then show you a finished project. So now we got all our paper added. Again, this can be totally easy. We, we want you to build your own style. So make sure like if there's a certain paper, you're getting a whole paper pad. Just change the paper if you don't like a particular one we use. Don't feel like you gotta follow along. I think it was Todd Henry that said in his book, The Accidental Creative, that creativity is simply your ability to engage in any given moment. And I've always loved that quote because, I mean, just watching this video, you're using your creative side. And, and don't be afraid to be yourself. I hate the excuse I'm just not that creative because as long as you're engaged and trying something, you are being creative. So right now I'm just taking some twine we just had in our um, supplies box that all crafters have their trusty supplies box with their scissors and their markers and pencils. Um, I'm just gonna quickly tie this off and uh, that's the first thing you wanna do before gluing all the stuff down now that we have it all painted and the paper on it. And we'll clean that up at the end. We'll just use some trims and, and take it off. But we want to do that to make sure it gets back behind there. Um, and now again, we just start building up. I'll go to the back side of this here. You don't want to glue this, the, the bottom layer, always uh, building towards the top, glue that side so that you make sure you don't have any run over, okay? Again, now that we're actually putting wood to wood, we want to use a bit more glue, okay? So don't be shy with it. One thing I like about this Tombow is if I do run over the edge a little bit, um, it dries clear, so. But you can use all sorts of adhesives. Like I said, people ask all the time, you can use, oh, there's a there's hundred different adhesives you could use. Probably you don't wanna use like tape runners to put wood to wood because you want it to be a little sturdier, but any real liquid glue will work great. So we're just gonna eyeball center that. We're not very particular, just eyeball center it. The more layers you add and you gotta measure side to side, you're gonna say, oh, that's why it takes so long. We'll just skip it, right? Now we've got the cloud, right? The cloud, I call it the cloud because it's white and it looks puffy. It's actually the frosting. People are gonna be mad, I call it a cloud. They're like, we love frosting and you're calling it a cloud. Okay, just like that. 
can be that easy. Yes, that easy. And then it just starts forming together. You can see how you can do one of these kits actually pretty quick once you've practiced on one, right? The cherry, literally the cherry on top, okay? Now you'll notice it sits off on the finished one. It sits off a little bit, so don't put adhesive on the stem. There's just gonna be little things you'll notice along the way just like that. I'll drop mine. And look at that, mine, yes, Casey Burningham, did one just as nice as Jody. Still gotta trim that up. But uh, that's how easy doing a shadow box kit from foundations to core can be. And we've also got the Fancy Pants Designs paper. So if you wanna get that kit of all the stuff I showed you, of shadow box kit, the frame, the paper pad, file, paintbrush, magnets, buttons, all of that stuff that's nearly a $50 value um, for $24.99, go to foundationsdecor.com forward slash expo 20, that's Jody's. The last finishing touches that we need to do is just add our magnet to the back. And you know what I'm gonna do? Just always put it right in the middle. You'll actually get two magnets for the title card. You can use two on that. The rest just need one magnet. It'll be simple. Now I'm gonna slip mine into Jody's kit. And she'll be none the wiser. This is the one we're gonna give her back. So just like that, we finished our kit and you can see how easy it can be to change it to fit your own style. Here's one we made last year that uh, of the birthday kit. And you can see on this one, we did Mod Podge some of it to give it a little bit more of a glossy shine. You're welcome to do that. Again, build your own style. We want it to be yours. Um, let me show you a couple of other cool things that we do at Foundations Decor, and then I'll let you go. We hope you saw how easy it can be to, to woodcraft with us um, and doing one of our popular shadow box kits, the birthday shadow box kit. You should have a, uh, a project that looks a lot like this if you've used um, the link foundations decor forward slash expo 2020 and you'll get everything you need except for the basic supplies to create this kit and i think you'll love it and it'll get you addicted to do others such as our halloween kit perfect for october we've got one to correlate with each month we've got several other shadow box kits and again if you use code at foundationsdecor.com if you use code expo 2020 you will get any shadow box kit in our catalog for $9.99 while supplies last. Uh, so make sure you get to foundationsdecor.com to check that out and use the code EXPO2020. Um, along the same lines as the shadow box kit, um, something we released this year was our magnetic calendars, which are very popular, very, very popular. And you can find these on our site as well. Um, it's just the same concept, the black or white uh, frame with um, all the days and numbers and blank tiles you need to fill in spaces um, come all with a kit. And not only that, cool little icons that go with it. Um, you can buy an extra big days kit or even the, the major holidays come with the frame itself. And then you just add on these extra inserts. For example, we've got August here. So as soon as July's over, instead of getting a whole new calendar, just replace August, right? And I'm not gonna take the time to go through all of those. We'll just put July back in. But you get the concept. It's the same as a shadow box kit, the same way to decorate it. You could use the video and instructions just as a roadmap to help complete a calendar. One of our very favorite items is our home or welcome blocks with interchangeable O's. We have over 30 O's to choose from so that there's something for everybody. This is a very popular one, the gnome. And that's just as simple as painting it and then following the same instructions that we went through in this video and on the instruction sheet to complete the rest of the project. The home does come with an O if you, if you like something real classic or if you want to decorate for the seasons. That's a little Christmas gnome. Here's a doorway. We've got tons of that phones. We got tons of options. So just go to our website, foundationsdecor.com to check out what other cool home options we have. And you also notice we've decorated behind ourselves. That isn't just for home decor purposes. We make home decor products as well. If you're the type of person that says, just give me something that's done, we can do that, but we still put our own twist on it. Our home board with wreath. We sell you a home board that comes with a wreath, but then we've also made these interchangeable wreaths for the different seasons. As soon as, uh, that's our summer wreath. Let's say as soon as spring's over, right? We got our spring wreath. We switch to summer to keep the spice of life alive in all of our homes. So 
Uh, one last thing I'll show you is our click sticks. Again, we sell them with canvases, but one thing that's really popular among scrapbookers is to use these 12 inch click sticks to display your layout. Why do we call them click sticks? Because they click together with very strong magnets so they can hold a layout, um, uh, a canvas, your own art. We've even painted our own art and hung it in my home. So I think you'll love those items as well. Make sure to check all of those out at foundationsdecor.com. To get your kit, use the link foundationsdecor.com uh, forward slash expo 2020. And to get $9.99 shadow box kits, use code expo 2020 at checkout. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please email us at Cont uh, or actually info at foundationsdecor.com or you can give us a call anytime and we will uh, be happy to answer your questions. Foundations Decor, this is Casey. Of course we can.